The first thing we see here is an array of cameras that listen to you and watch you. These are the facial recognition systems. Now, cities are starting to be set up where they have points of entry for regions within cities. And you have to use your iPhone device to beep your way in. And it, the pad on the top there shows your face. It's facial recognition. So it opens the doors and things like that for you if it matches your face or if you don't have any problems. But if you are wanted by the police or something, these will lock you in so you can't move from region to region or if you use too much carbon, as you can see, this woman takes off her, fa her glasses and that little device that looks like an iPhone, but it's actually a retina scanner or a facial scanner, picks up your face and then it'll let you through. And then here's an example of how that works. You're at the gate here, it scanned his face, and then there you go, it opens the gate. Now within the cities, they're blocked off by region, and these fences right here separate those areas. There's police, as you can see in front, that monitor and guard these areas between points. So if I'm over here where this guy is in like region one, region two is over here, right? But I have to go through a checkpoint. Now, of course, the police officers have these glasses that are facial recognition glasses. So it'll read license plates. And when you see somebody right here, it'll recognize the face and pull up their information. And so a cop can just sit there and look at a population and determine if they're good, bad, have warrants against the government, blah, 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 just like this officer's doing. Now, of course, this is where a camera can identify you by your gait or by the way you walk. This determines how a person walks, and they can set up a profile based on the way you move and walk with your facial recognition, meaning you can be watched at all points. So this guy right here, I'll spare you the details, but basically what it is is he's reading this, and he can't travel on high-speed rail because his credit score, his social credit score is so low. So what he had to do is volunteer and do a bunch of other shit to raise his social credit score. So he was going to take... a trip that would take three hours on a high-speed rail, but because his social credit score was too low, he had to take a bus, which took 10 hours. But then coming up here, he donated and did charity work, and now he says at the end he can live like a real person. And then here's footage of the grocery store in Canada. They've put these cameras, these facial recognition cameras, in the grocery store to determine what you're buying and if it's good for the environment or not, as far as I can tell.